In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to make these adorable flowers made out of sealing wax. So let's jump in. Our first step is going to be making a blank seal. So I have vellum sealing wax I'm doing a couple of squeezes and I'm going to use this blank stamp here to make a seal. And the whole reason for doing this is just to have a base to build my flower on. The next thing that I want to do that's kind of prep stuff is I have just some regular clear hot glue. I'm just going to make a few teeny tiny little dots and these will be the center of the flower. We're going to color them gold. I'm going to make some tinier, some a little bigger and I'm going to do a few of them just so I have some options. The reason why I'm doing hot glue is it's easier to color with the Krylon gold leafing pen than sealing waxes. So that's why we're using hot glue. So we'll let all of these cool and then we'll go to the next step. So you'll know these are cool when it comes off the parchment paper and it should easily come off your stamp. So this is just gonna be our base to build our flower on. So these little guys, let's see, we'll just try touching one and see. And hot glue is kind of a little sticky anyway. This one got a little bubble in it, but I think it'll be okay. It might show through, so we might not use that one. But this one should work well. So I'm gonna take my Krylon gold leafing pen. And the thing with coloring these is they're kind of tricky because they're so small. So I usually cover color half. And I'm gonna get a little more ink show you this so I just press down and it will kind of get a little bit more ink flowing and then I'll use it to color so I'll probably color half of this and it's so tiny I'm sorry it's kind of hard to be able to show you this but I'm just gonna do half because otherwise I'll smear it with my hand and then I'm just gonna set it down to dry um, and I'm going to do that, I probably don't know if I'll do all these dots because I'm not making this many flowers today, but it's always good to have some size options depending on how the flower turns out. So I'm going to do maybe this one that's a little bit smaller. And then after the gold is dry, I'll come back and paint the other side a little bit later on. And the rest I'll probably just stay for the next time I make wax seal flowers. Next, I'm gonna take my glue gun that has my flower petal color in it, and I'm just gonna do kind of a strip of wax. And I'm gonna do quite a bit of wax because I actually need this to be pretty thick when I spread it. And I'm gonna use my art spatula, and I'm just gonna spread it like that and let it cool. Okay. You'll be able to tell it's cool. Sometimes it will kind of start to curl a little bit, but it should just be able to come off the parchment paper really easily. And so look, we have this nice thin um, sheet of sealing wax to work with for our petals. So we're gonna set this aside and we need to do the same thing for our leaf color. All right, so I've got my leaf color and I'm gonna just do the same thing. I'm just gonna get this a line of sealing wax and I kind of want a lot of sealing wax because because it needs to be thick. Do the same thing, do a nice swipe. And you'll see, I try to clean off my spatula uh, with a paper towel, but sometimes it doesn't really come off because it's already hardened. So you can see a little bit of that color mixing happening over here. Um, but that's okay, we just won't use that part. And if you get, so I kind of just end up getting built up like this and then eventually I'll just use an X-Acto knife and just take it all off at once. Um, but usually it's okay, it doesn't mix too much usually. So we're just gonna let this cool and then we'll start making our leaves in our pen. Okay, the green is dry and again, it did the thing where it kind of curls as it's drying and that's totally fine, it's not a problem. And like I said, we're not gonna use this because of the color mixing, but also that area is gonna be too thin to use for this right now anyway. So we can just set this aside. You can always remelt all of these scraps um, to use later too. 
So from here, let's go ahead and make some leaves. So I have, this is a 5 8 inch circle punch and I'm gonna take the bottom part out so this, the pieces can just fall through. And I'm gonna turn it around so you can see. Some portions of the sealing wax are gonna be a little too thick that it won't fit in here. So we just gotta go to an area where it does fit. And we can make some circles. So this can help you, depending on what type of leaf you're making, you might make, want to make a more rounded leaf like that. The other option, and this will work good for our thicker portion, over here is to just I like to cut it in strips first and then I'll just cut it into a leaf shape so I'll try to vary the sizes so this one's gonna be a little bit longer I'll try to do one that's maybe a little bit shorter than that and I'm just using, these are embroidery scissors, but I like them because they're small and they're pretty sharp. And I think I'll do one more, so I'll just cut one more strip. And, do. and we want this wax that we're working with to be quite thick, because we're gonna be connecting it with melted wax. So there's my three little leafies. Again, all of these little pieces I'll just melt down for later, and I can reuse them. If you wanted to make a leaf out of the rounds, it could be fun to do something that's um, a more rounded leaf that kind of comes to a point. So a leaf that's more like this shape could be fun too, depending on the shape of your petal. So I'm going to use these more pointed leaves today. So I have those and then now I need to do my flower petals, so I'm going to do the same thing where I need to go in the area of the wax where it's thin enough that it will fit in my little cutter or circle punch. Let's see if it doesn't fit over there. Right here. So we might just have to cut that out. So from here, I'm going to try to make some petals. I'm going to kind of go into a point, and then at the top, I might try to make the top a little bit like this in a petal shape. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bend the petal. So I'm going to use my finger, and I'm just going to kind of bend it. And this will be harder to do if the sealing wax is too thick. But again, we don't want it too thin. So now it's kind of got this curved shape, and that's really great. And we kind of want to see if we can do similarly to the leaf, because it's just going to make it look a little bit more realistic, and it's got a little bit of shape to it. So we'll go through, and you can just use your finger. I've used like a toothpick to try to curl it on, but I don't think you need to like, usually you can just get it with your fingers, just kind of manipulating it. Um, that's just gonna give us more of a realistic look. So we need to do a few more petals. So I like to have, let's say, I don't know, you need probably about seven petals is my guess. And it depends on your flower, but we're going to do kind of two layers with them. And again, we want the tops kind of rounded like that and organic looking. So I'm just using my scissors and kind of going back and forth to get kind of those organic looking shapes. So for this area, it's too thick to use the circle punch. So I can kind of just do the same thing that I was already doing, where I can just cut it into that shape that the circle punch gave us and then go from there. Um, 
and these ones there are quite a bit thicker but they're gonna be good because they won't melt when they get connected so again we'll bend them they're not gonna bend quite as easily because they're a little thicker but it still works so let's do one more and so you could get really creative with these like changing the leaf shape and changing the petal shape can totally change the look of the flower and so that's something that's really fun about these we go. is that just by doing that you can really change up the way the flower looks so from here we've got our pieces together we've got our blank seal that's where we're going to build our flower the one thing we need to do before we jump into building is we need to go back to our little gold beads and they're dry on this side now so now i can flip them over and again using my krylon go in and just color on the other half and then i'll do the same thing set it down to dry so it doesn't get any fingerprints on it and then that will be ready to be the center of our flower once we have it um, built all right, from here, I have my sealing wax ready now, and I'm gonna start with the leaves. So I'm gonna do um, just a small dot of the same color of leaf wax. And I'm gonna take my leaves, and I'm gonna place them in. And I'm placing them in kind of together. And that one, it's too cooled. So if it gets too cooled, that's okay. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on. And then I'm gonna kind of push it down so it's a little flat. So, of course, this is not looking great yet, but of course we're gonna cover this up with our petals. So, from here, we're gonna take our pet petals and I wanna take some of the thicker ones versus thinner and thinner, I wanna leave a little closer to the top I think so from here I need to get I'll do the same kind of concept but I'm gonna use the same color of wax that I used for my petals all right for this part you want to work pretty quickly so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of my pink wax and then I'm gonna place in my flower and sometimes you can get two petals in with one little drop of wax and sometimes you can it just kind of depends but I'm gonna overlap them like this so see how it's overlapping a little bit so my next one so the sealing wax is what's holding this all together and I'm just working my way around building this up tell if I'm gonna need one or two more petals so let's see let's go with two more so I'll need one more here tiny and just try to get as small of little pieces of wax as you can the little dots there so there's my little flower it's looking so cute now the last step, you could do another layer of the petals if you want, but I think this is looking pretty full to me and pretty layered. I mean, I could maybe put this one right in here. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling okay about it, how it is. So I think I'm gonna leave it. And so last step is adding our gold dot. Okay, so I have my gold dot here and I'm just gonna test, kind of set it and see so something that I'm noticing here is you can see some of my sealing wax in this area. So what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm actually am gonna use this petal to cover that up. That's kind of the only spot that you can see it. So I'm just gonna put a teeny tiny bit of wax right here, like the smallest amount that I can get to come out of my gun. And then I'm gonna put my wax or my petal here now this way 
once I put this over the top, there's not going to be any excess kind of wax that had oozed out from underneath the petals. So last step, again, teeny tiny little drop of sealing wax, just enough to hold on our center. And I'm going to set that in and press down. And that's it. So from here, you have a super cute little flower. What you can do is on the back is you can put a little sticker on it and that way you can put it on a gift or a card or something. But it's so cute and so simple and I just love it so much. It's just this cute little flower. So definitely let me know if you try this out and subscribe to my channel so I can show you more cute things you can do with sealing wax and wax seals.